And those who wouldn't bend the knee? We left before the Empire could make examples of us, though we didn't go far. And we banded together to form the Guardians of the Flame soon after. Alas, there is only so much a handful of aging shields can do against the might of an Empire. But we've seen to it that their stay has been anything but pleasant. Of late, though, we've had our hands full just trying to keep the Duchy's few remaining bearers out of the Imperial's clutches. The Cullings. We saw what happened in Old Hill. Aye. The foul work of the Black Shields and their mistress. You mean my mother. But it doesn't make sense. Even knowing what I know about her. Yeah, thank God I didn't kill anybody. You're right. You, you could see them like on the ground kind of standing back up. Like, thank God for that. So I, I thought, because like the Black Shield said they were looking for fire branders or fire starters or something like a fire brand or whatever. And like, I thought that would be their names, but no, they're Guardians of the Flame, which is like a different thing. Oh, it's all good, Panda. So Panda, what's the, uh, what's the leak? A clandestine group of dual, uh, ducal loyalists who led the rebellion against the imperial occupation of Rosaria and Empress Annabella. Uh, many of their number are drawn from those who survived the imperial attack on Phoenix Gate in the year uh, 860, who know full well the Empire's involvement in the Duchy's fall. They make their home in the abandoned Lazarus district outside Port Isolde, from where they conduct their raids to free bearers from the imperial yoke. Oh, just that there would be DLC. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. I, I thought you meant like, the, you know, like they, they leaked the content of the DLC. A loyal shield of Rosaria, though he is he was thought to have died during the attack on Phoenix Gate, he somehow survived only the disaster of the Imperial conquest that followed. He and other like-minded shields took up residence in the abandoned Lazarus and formed the Guardians of the Flame, brother in arms who fight for the restoration of the Duchy. So I have a lot of explaining to do to sir wade because i have to, to explain to him that um i'm the one that killed uh joshua but, I'm, but i mean that's i didn't actually kill him so i can't say that i'm the one that killed the other dude the the uh, army commander like joshua killed uh sir wade's friend which i forgot his name and because he was like right next to uh, Joshua when he transformed and I killed the army commander, which was super awesome because he was right next to me when I when I transformed. And. Um, I have to tell him that like Joshua also isn't dead or maybe I shouldn't tell him that. I don't know. Um, and. Like, but I'm also like a fire dominant now, which Sir Wade probably doesn't know. Like there's. There's a few things. Oh yeah? Damn. Her hatred for bearers was no secret, but she wouldn't have been ignorant of their value to the realm. No offense, my lord, but in case you haven't noticed, the Lady Annabella couldn't care less about the realm. She barely even cares for her own home. That much has been plain since the slaughter at Eastpool. And since oh, yeah, damn. the Holy Emperor a new heir, her obsession with bearers only seems to have grown. Wait, she got a new heir? As to why, I don't know. Maybe she can't bear the thought of anyone having the power to challenge her beloved son. Her son. So she has a new so son. Wait, the Black Shields are broken camp. They march in full force for Buick Bridge. Then so do we. Make ready. Wait, wait, wait. But she has a new son. But like, what does it matter? Because she didn't care. Like, she didn't care that her previous sons, she didn't care for them because they didn't have any powers. Or rather, she cared about, about Joshua, but like, she didn't care about Clive. Because he didn't actually have powers at that time or whatever. But like... Even if she has another kid, he's not going to have the phoenix, even though, because first of all, it's not her bloodline, uh, and also, like, the phoenix is still alive, 
she's like and 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 the emperor still has like bahamut is still alive right like it's still a like the emperor's like oldest son still is bahamut un un unless unless the oldest son is bahamut like bahamut is the uh, um annabella's son also but he looked older he looked like he was about my age so that doesn't make sense so un unless he's like much much young younger than i am in which case it's possible that it's the other son but like maybe not i don't know i i i'm what i'm saying is i i'm i don't understand why she would be so protective or care that much about her, her new son her new born born son if he doesn't have any power because she didn't care before yeah exactly so like on that I think he's like 38. Oh, he's in early 30s? This is their main host. If we remove the head, perhaps... Perhaps we can prevent what happened at the docks from happening somewhere else. If I do nothing, then the blood of their next victims will be on my hands. Yours and ours. We too have witnessed the crimes these men who dare call themselves shields have committed in my mother's name. It cannot be allowed to continue. We must put a stop to this madness. We must. So let us go with you. For the good of Rosaria. I was hoping you'd say that. Are we, wait, are we going to face the head of the shields, the, the black shields, like the, the, the guard captain or the commander or whatever? Because if that's the case, killing him will literally change nothing at all. But if, if they're kind of escorting Annabella then, and we can fight Annabella then, or kill her somehow or something, then, then it's way better. An order of knights instituted by Empress Annabella in one of her first acts as vicereine of the Imperial Province of Rosaria. While they mo most often march in small groups, their main host has been known to rally together to conduct large-scale raids. They're tasked with purging the impurities from the province to, uh, to which end um, they conduct cullings uh, of both bearers and those judged to be ducal loyalists. I I'm a C, I'm a C, but... Very well. If that is your wish... I would be honored to serve at your side. I'm mostly thinking out loud. And we at yours. So, Wade, let us do our duty. With pleasure, my lord. I appreciate that you guys don't want to spoil me, though. That's... Thank you. I Honestly, I really, really appreciate that. It's, it's very kind. I imagine this endeavor will require more than just our weights. Then let's hope Sir Wade has a good quartermaster. I mean, I don't think I need anything, do I? No, not really. I suppose we owe you our thanks. You spared us when you could have just as easily sent us to the mud. Oh, thank God for that, man. Oh, buck up, man. At least you're not dead. The crazy part is like I didn't intend to spare you. The game just decided. I honestly I was out to kill. We'll show them that the fire in our hearts is not so easily quenched. The black shields will know what hit them. Right? Yeah. Like I was, I wasn't trying. I swear. I. <laughs> Welcome to what little we have managed to salvage. Thank you. That's a new thing in crafting. So far, I feel like crafting is so underused. 
Anytime I go to craft anything, I can't craft anything at all because everything is just worse than what I have. I haven't crafted anything in ages. The only thing I craft now is like a new weapon. Whenever I've defeated Dominant, there's a new weapon. That's about it. Like, I'm just, I'm just, I have so many crafting materials now. Like some of them I have like a crazy amount of. May it serve the cause well. I'm sure that it will prove useful. I have 54 of this, 87 of that, like 733 of this, a thousand of this, like. I've been doing hunts, but I've, I literally just unlocked hunts. So I've only done three hunts so far. It's because I don't have any more. Like the, there's no hunts on the board anymore. <laughs> like I've done all the ones I could do. So, yeah, I'm just, but it doesn't change the fact that it kind of, it's weird. Like the game is showering me with all these materials that I just cannot use. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's kind of odd. I will need a thousand sharp fangs. I will, for real. If that's the case, then never mind. I <laughs> I didn't say anything. <laughs> I okay. Well then great. I'll thank God I didn't sell anything and I just kept everything just in case. The only thing I'm selling is like the ones that are that, that, that it says like oh used for money or whatever like uh exchange for gill i will be here should you need aught else can you craft eating any items or do you mean you you keep them because you can sell them for money and thus you can buy eating items is that what you mean like you're 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 using it as a source of money Show them as much mercy as they did our sisters and brothers in Old Hill. Less if I have my way. Just notice that Old Hill sounds like Old Space Hill. Like an ancient uh, hill. Tell us then, Sir Wade. What is your plan? Nothing fancy. You, Lady Jill and I make for Buett Bridge and provoke the main host at their encampment. Sensing an opportunity to end the Guardians, the Black Shields will call for reinforcements, who will be met from the rear by parties of my brothers hidden throughout the surrounding hills. This will allow us to wage battle on the bridge without fear of being overwhelmed. While the Black Shields have an advantage in numbers, you see, they prefer to fight in small units, which we can use to our advantage. How small exactly? Small enough, now that I have you and Lady Jill for company. <laughs> I doubt I could have done this on my own. But until we arrived, that was your plan. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. So wait. The bearers from Old Hill have been laid to rest. Very good. Now make ready for battle. As you command. To battle. I'm still a bit rusty though, I'm not gonna lie. Like, um. Thank you, Sir Wade. Perhaps now they will find peace. There is but one thing which will grant them peace putting an end to the Black Shields. And so we shall. Throughout the main scenario, Clive will often be joined by various companions who are keen to lend their assistance. However, depending on Clive's destination, they may choose to remain behind at the hideaway. Oh!
So the game is spoiling me that Sir Wade doesn't die. We'll keep them from the bridge. Don't you worry. You'd better. Brother Wade's life depends upon it. If You're right. The Phoenix go with you. I mean, maybe he dies down the line, but I mean, he doesn't die now because that means he's going to come back to the. How long have you been pursuing the Black Shields? Since they burned their first village, we tracked down the bastards responsible and fed their corpses to Stillwind. Suffice to say, that got their attention. It's been a game of cat and mouse ever since. What did it say? Uh, what it basically, basically like presented me with a new uh, tutorial window that said like party members, and it said um, when it, like party members will stay at the hideaway on like depending on which location you go, some of them will accompany you to that location, and some others won't. And and you can't choose who who is going to come with you. It depends on which location you're you're adventuring into. So the fact that like Sir Wade, uh, they're they're giving me that information just now when I'm getting Sir Wade means that he's gonna join me at the hideaway. I'm assuming, which also means that like depending on which location I venture into, it might be Sir Wade that accompanies me, or it might be Jill. And if that if that is the case then it's a slight spoiler the game is spoiling me that like whatever is about to happen just now uh we won't lose sir wade and we might later but probably not just now and i mean knowing the game it could it, it could have died just now for all i know like in, in a few minutes <laughs> Bugger me sideways. <laughs> Come along now. We'll find another bridge. The bastards are lucky I didn't have my axe. There they are. On your command, my lord. Oh, my command is right, right the second like literally right now what is it now i told you we bear a message for the vicereen from the guardians of the flame <laughs> you presume to tell us that a pair of filthy vagabonds a woman and a dog could guard aught against the might of the Black Shields. Then come! Die along with your flame! Okay, cocky much. I'm gonna make you regret For those words. For us area! Your petty revolution ends here. On these our swords, we swear. What'd you swear? Tell that to me again. Forget about judging. new thing i don't remember being able to do that before dodging and like in slow motion and then like striking with fire like and just 
That's a weird. Noble stand, albeit a misguided one. In taking it, you have but proven our point that this land is in dire need of cleansing. Dude, I love his helmet. Looks like it has a beard. Honestly, I don't know what that was. I mean, I was aggressive and it. I did pretty well, I think. <laughs> I think that wasn't too bad, actually. All things considered. I mean, at the first, I just ignored all of his attacks. I wanted to see, like, how hard he hits. Then, like, I kind of was a little bit more cautious because I had to use one high potion and then I was fine. Oh, I will stretch. Thank you. I don't see any more. Nor do I. The plan worked. It did. It bloody worked. We sent every last one of the rotten bastards straight to the mud. My, uh, Lord. Uh, let's Perhaps go. This will be enough to stop the Cullings. For the time being, at least. Perhaps. Though I doubt my mother will take this loss well. She'll move swiftly to see her minions' ranks replenished. And then it will all begin again. I often wonder if the nation we once knew is gone for good. Her fields rot. Her people starve. We battle to preserve the flame that was, but for every foe we fell, another springs up in its place. Yet be that as it may, it is still our home. And we must fight for it. As we always have, and always will. For as long as the Firebird's flame burns in our hearts, the Duchy cannot die. And her loyal subjects may dream of a day when the Rosarian Standard flies over Rosalith once more. So wait, I... Think we should fall back to Port Isolde before the garrison sends reinforcements? A sound strategy, my lord. <laughs> I didn't see a single thing of that, but I mean, it works. funding you and your comrades' endeavors? Since the beginning. Lord Byron was the first person I turned to after forming the Guardians. Hold on. No, no new info. I mean, still here, but no new info on, on this guy. And had I known of this tunnel back then, I wouldn't almost have been hanged by the city guard for trying to sneak over the wall. I suppose a formal request for an audience would have appeared suspicious. And appearances must be maintained. 
Were the Vice Regency to catch wind of Lord Byron's involvement in our movement, they'd seize his estate and send him to the gallows, where he would be of no use to anyone. And so, though it sickens him to the soul, he plays the part of the loyal Lord, knowing that one wrong move might prove his downfall. It is why he remains ever vigilant. Don't be surprised if he refuses you an audience, especially since you're famously dead. Then I will have to think of a way to prove that I am neither wraith nor wrongdoer. I might have something which could help with the latter. It's the mark of the Guardians. Display it and those who love Rosaria will know where your loyalties lie. I shall wear it with pride. Be sure that you do. I don't want my men attacking you again. Unless you deserve it. If only Sir Tyler could have been here to see you. Or the Lord Commander. Oh boy. Thank you, Sir Wade. If there is ever anything you need. I know. Go on now, my lord. Like, oh boy. Like, <laughs> if only the Lord Commander. Uh... I kind of burned him to a crisp and uh, his wife got murdered. So, yeah. That's a pretty shot. It'd be perfect for a, a YouTube thumbnail. How accommodating. Do you really think they believe we are who we say we are? Not a chance. Nope. Right, I guess. My uncle believes we're imposters here to rob him. He means to string us up himself. Imagine my surprise when I was told my nephew had come to visit. Clive Rosfield died long ago. And for uttering his name here, you shall pay with your tongue. You would mock me as well. It is I, Sir Crandall of Camelot, loyal servant to Her Serene Holiness, Saint Sybil the Unshard. Murder, thou vile sorcerer, for thy crimes against church and crown, I shall have thy head. Curse thee, infectious flax wench. E even in death, must thou plague me still? Very well. I shall open the gates of hell that thou might see thy charge once more. Bravo, Uncle. You're still the finest matter in the twins. Oh, oh, oh. oh, Clive, my dear boy, it's really you. <laughs> oh, you always were fond of that scene from the Saint of the Sanctuary. You never did let me play Sir Cranball. So a favor to ask Uncle Byron. Rutherford, inform the kitchens. There'll be guests. 
We dine immediately. But, Uncle... You can't very well regale me with the tale of your miraculous preservation on an empty stomach. <laughs> it's so freaking cute, man. Oh my god. The Saint and the Sectary, uh, a beloved Philistian fable wherein the good knight Sir Crandall of Camelot, servant of Saint Sibyl the Unshod, does battle against the evil warlock Madu. The story was a favorite of the young Clive Rossfield, and he would often act out scenes with his uncle, the young knight, naturally taking the role of Sir Crandall, and his rumbacious uncle Byron making a convincing Madu. That was super touching, man. Younger brother of the late Archduke Elwin and warden of Port Isolde, after the duchy was incorpor incorporated into the empire and Byron stripped of his titles, he shut himself away in his manor and gladly volunteered every guild of the onerous taxes and tariffs with which he was newly burdened, all to avoid drawing the empire's ire and to keep their attentions from his support for the Garden of the Flames. Very awesome. Uh, Rutherford, manservant to Lord Byron Rossfield, his daily duties touch all aspects of running his master's manor, whether that be the welcoming of guests, the preparation of meals, or the polishing of the intrepid nobleman's trophy collection. He better not be betrayed and murdered in my face, man, I swear to God. God shit. I swear to God, man, if he, if he gets murdered, I'm gonna be so pissed. See that you use the good plates, Rutherford. So you arrived late to one of her cullings, did you? Since becoming viceroy, Annabella has been a constant thorn in Rosaria's side, but these atrocities are a new low. Something has changed. Quite what? I don't know, but the woman we knew is gone, and a monster sits in her place. A monster? For better or worse, I've been <coughs> charged with governing this town, and thus must maintain the illusion of obedience. That's all I can do to aid Wade and his merry band of revolutionaries. So he's told us. You have risked much for Rosaria. Our nation will be forever in your debt. It has been twenty years, Clive. The nation your father and your forefathers fought to defend is no more. Perhaps it would be otherwise had I the courage of my brother. All right, if it's a ship you require, a ship you shall have. I have a galley in port but recently relieved of her cargo. She can be outfitted for the voyage in a matter of weeks. So you believe us, then? About everything? Believe you? Ha! Only a fool would believe even half of the things you claim. But until tonight, only a fool would have believed my nephew still lived. And besides, I have it on good authority that Clive is telling the truth. Whose authority? your own of course you've always been a terrible liar is that true it's not uh, untrue let's say no more about it eh? it wouldn't do to linger on my nephew's greatest failing the music man oh my god the one thing i cannot believe though is all this about you being sid you were always such a good boy, but now you're quite the outlaw. Which, if I'm not mistaken, would make me an outlaw's uncle. <laughs> right then, who shall we pillage first? Rutherford, fetch me my cutlass. This will be fun. She's a fine ship, isn't she? 
Once outfitted, she'll bear us across the boiling sea to Drustinus in the space of three days. Drustinus? They don't mention it here. Okay. Dominant of Shiva and trusted confidant of Clive, leader of the new uh, hideaway. Together, they continue Sid's mission to emancipate bearers and rid the realm of mother crystals. Sure, okay. It's a pretty weak description. Monsters. When I served the Iron Kingdom, I, I did so because I saw no other choice. Hold on. Because once they learned that Lash would not move me, they turned it on those who could. And so I became their puppet. I let them pull my strings, telling myself it was not my hand that swung the sword, but another's. I removed myself from the truth so I wouldn't feel the pain it caused. And before I knew it, I no longer felt anything. Anything at all. I had become a monster. Jill. I don't want to be a monster, Clive. Do you understand? I want to choose a different path, a better path. To live on my own terms. But before I can do that, I need to come to terms with my past. And when you do, I'll be standing there with you, just as you stood with me. Thank you, Clive. I must atone for my sins. Only then, when it's done, Will the monster cease to be? Just promise me that you won't die with it. Now, let's get some sleep. The journey back to Benamir is long, and there is much to tell the others. We travel all the way back to the lake. Good lord. Okay, let's go. Only the founder knows what awaits us in the Iron Kingdom. But Vivian could probably make an educated guess. Speak with Vivian. Okay. Before we speak with Vivian, though, we have side quests. We probably there's probably side quests all the way, like. You know, like, uh, just outside of here as well, maybe. There might even be, a uh, new hunt. No? No. Wait. Of August. Clive, oh, am I glad to see you? Is something wrong? It's Blackford. He ain't himself. And if I'm honest, he ain't been for a while. But normally, it only takes a couple of drinks to perk him back up. But not this time. Something's getting him down. And whatever it is, he ain't telling. 
It's like he's lost his spark, you know? He's barely got enough fire in his belly to get the ump about stuff. But I'm thinking he might if we both bent his ear, because he respects you, innit? So, what'd you say? Yeah, sure. Fine. If you think it will help. I knew you'd understand. But if he doesn't want to talk, we let him be. We'll open up when he's ready. All right. Now, he'll only smell a rat if we both turn up at once. So, I'll go first, and you can meet us at the forge. Wait a bit, then head over when you're ready. I wonder what that is, because those quests usually means that we're going to unlock something, like a new system. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Is everything we've received and everything promised. Oh, we got more than 100, so we unlocked the next batch, but we don't have a reward yet. We have to... All done? Okay. Is there any other quests elsewhere? Fancy a look at the list, do you? Anything catch your eye? No, aside from... No, there's no side quest. There's only side quests here. There's two side quests here. That's it. Something had been weighing on your mind. I thought you might want to talk about it. <laughs> Did you now? I told you not to stick your nose in my business. What'd you go and do? Clive just wants to help, innit? What's so bad about that? Talk to him. You never know, you might feel better for getting it all out in the open. Please, mate. I'm worried about you. <sighs> Phil shut you up. It's nothing really. Stupid. Not the sort of thing you'd bother people about. Why don't you tell us all the same? Karen and I have an arrangement. I keep an eye on Goots and she shows me what the competition's up to. Interesting arms and armor, things like that. Anyway, the other day she shows me a cuirass she's come by. Masterpiece of level work. Light, supple, and tougher than it had any right to be. <sighs> Made my stuff look like every clumsy shit. I should have brought the bastard thing there and then just to study it, but I was too proud. And now every time I reach for my hammer, I'm reminded that I'm not the craftsman I thought I was. There. You happy? You got what you came for. Now piss off. All right. We're going. So I have to buy it for him. I always thought of old Blackthorn as a bit of a force of nature, like a storm cloud full of ale. <laughs> I didn't think anything could rattle him. Least of all, a stupid piece of leather. Blackthorn's always taken pride in his craft. Questioning it means questioning himself. Something tells me this is only going to get worse. If he has doubts, it will affect his work, which will only add to his problems. We need to nip this in the bud. I couldn't agree more. He said he should have bought that cuirass. Perhaps we should track it down for him. Assuming you're happy to help, that is. Too bloody right I am. Glad to hear it. First things first, then. We need to speak to Karen. So, we find a cuirass, give it to Blackthorn, then he works out how to make it and goes back to being his surly old self, right? Simple. Yeah, but like we don't know what that is though. Like it could be taking quite a liking to Lady Karen. He's not a monster. He's Targle. And he'd take a liking to you too if you gave him as many nuts as Nan does. Karen, do you have a moment? 
Blackthorn mentioned that you'd recently come by a leather cuirass. An exquisite example of the craft, from what he told us. And he ain't been himself since he saw it. So we thought we'd buy it for him. Sorry, sold it already. Didn't think Blackthorn cared for it the way he turned his nose up. But it was nicely put together, that's for certain. Even if the bloke who made it is a bit of an odd one. Happened to cross him on my travels. Makes all his stuff to order, but the fella who commissioned it refused to pay. He didn't like the colour of summer. So I took it off his hands for a fair price. You don't know where we might find him, do you? Like I said, he's a bit of an odd one. Doesn't even have a workshop. He don't trust hunters neither, which means he spends as much time out tracking beasties as he does working their hides. I see. Hmm. He did tell me summit though. Apparently, his next commission's for a set of griffin hide greaves. Here, there's a griffin on the hunt board. The curse breakers were placing bets on who'd bag it. Now, where the bleeding hell was excited? Somewhere in Sambrek, maybe. Care Northern, that was it. Thank you, Karen. We'd be lost without you. At least you admit it. So. It sounds like going after that griffin might be the best chance we have of finding our roaming leather worker. I'll leave the hunting to you if you don't mind. While you get on with that, I'll ask around the markets. See if I can't sniff out who he is and where he's hiding. Okay. Good idea. Hopefully one of us will be able to track him down. I went to the I went to the hunt board, man. Like there was no hunts. And what can I do for you? You're rubbing me blind, you know. Is that all? If that level worker's even half the craftsman Blackthorn says, someone's bound to have heard of him. I'll do a bit of poking around. See if I can't find something out. Good luck in Sambrek. Uh, and watch out for that griffin. They're nasty bastards, they are. Jesus, man. Every time. Like, there's a huge pause. I move away. He continues talking. Like, <laughs> he did that twice. Take you for a scholarly van. Oh, this? Well, it's Valisthea, a culinary pilgrimage. I borrowed it from old tomes. Seems there's no creature in the realm so foul it can't be cooked up into something delicious. <laughs> Think I'll stick to the unfoul ones, thanks. Curious about the more ball. Where's your sense of adventure, Sid? Honestly, one glance at these recipes, and even you would trade in your sword for a butcher's cleaver. From spit roasts to sweetmeats, this book has them all. Ah, <sighs> what I wouldn't give to bring these recipes to life. If it's my blessing you're hoping for, then by all means. Well, I'm no hunter, Sid. The first ton of worm I came across would be the death of me. But you're made of sternest stuff. Would you help me resurrect one of these recipes? Sure. Something tells me you won't be taking no for an answer. Fine. I'll help. Fantastic. Thank you. So, dare I ask what's on the menu? Uh, Chances stew. It was once a favorite among the gormans of Oriflam, if the author is to be believed. Though Molly's never heard of it. The only problem is that while the recipe is extremely detailed in most respects, it's infuriatingly cryptic as to the main ingredient. A beast, no doubt. Most likely something that would make easy work of a simple cook with more broth than brawn, but unwanted violets. I've no idea what they might be. Does the book say anything else? Well, only that the sweetest violets sprout atop the bed of roses. Roses? Rosaria, perhaps? One of the butchers in Martha's Rest might know something. I'll ask next time I'm there. Is it actual flowers or is it like something that has the appearance of flower or being called a flower? Hmm. Not sure about that. Did you come to borrow a book, Sid? If you can't have this Is there something I might assist you with, Clive? Ask about the hideaway. Look around you. 
While it is a far cry from the Imperial Library in Oriflam, in five short years we have amassed more volumes than most men or women might hope to see in their lifetime. No longer are the tales they contain hidden away from all but the privilege, we have liberated them that they might fill the minds of all who hunger for knowledge. There is much more out there, and as long as I draw breath, I shall continue to gather what I can. Why? One day a chronicle of, our, of your own adventures might even graze these shelves, or failing that, the floor. It has been difficult, certainly. When Titan visited his wrath upon us on the dreadful night, we lost much. He robbed us not only of our homes and our loved ones, but of that which Sid fought fiercest to preserve, our hope. Hope that we might never have found again had you not taken his name and become our light in the and darkness. Not let us hear. To Benimer, uh, and the Invincible, where amongst the ghosts of the fallen, our journey can continue. Here in the belly of a, of a Leviathan, untouched by the passing of a thousand years, does our hope burn brighter than ever? And here may it burn for a thousand more. I still remember. The day I first met Ted and Crow, chasing their father around uh, about the Idaway one moment, clinging to their mother's uh, curdle the next. The twins' love for their parents was something to behold, so fierce and pure. When they passed, I feared the void they left in their children's life could never be filled. Neither spoke nor smiled for years, hiding themselves away here in the shelves to bury their sorrows in the leaves of these tones. And thank goodness they did. For I believe the stories proved a welcome distraction as over, over time their pain faded and now they laugh and frolic as they once did, if not with m more vigor. I also frolic. They remind us that no matter how deep our wounds, we all have the capacity to heal and that happiness lost may be found again. I have compiled some new entries, if you would like to see them. Oh, we're so close. To study the tomes? We're so close to level up. has a marker so I wanted to we have a letter also Deadlands wouldn't be half as bad two all quiet in the Dominion the Dalmex and the Imperial are at a standoff they snarl at each other fangs bare like slum curs but neither wants to make the first move it's almost as if they both realized what a stinking pile of chocobo ish they've stepped in <laughs> If I were a man to lay wager, I'd put my uh, copper on this conflict not playing out anytime soon. I shall keep you apprised. Thank you, Gav. A flame none brighter. My Lord Marquis, uh, Marquess, I ask once again for you to forgive my men for your welcome back at the Lazarus, but certainly you can understand that you were the last person any of us were expecting to see at our gates. In the short uh, time since our reunion, you have shown yourself to be the selfsame man I followed into Stillwin those many years ago, a true bearer of your father's legacy. If only Sir Tyler, the Lord Commander, and all the others who were lost that night were still with us to see how bright your flame now burns. To you and your cause, I hereby pledge the swords of the Guardians, and I'm proud to stand alongside you once again, Wade. Ah, Dude, what a, what a freaking bro, man. What an absolute bro. What up? Let's get about Griffin sightings. Did I hear you say you were hoping to hunt down a griffin, Koopo? Then I do have the BF for you. An especially horrible one that locals call Dosmare. Oh, just just appeared. While passing along the trails from Lost Wind to Lost Wing to Care Norvind, one of our order was met with a sudden blast of wind so strong that it bent back the trunks of the old oaks and heard a cry so terrible that, that he ran for for his life. Questioning the locals revealed that this area was the nesting place of the elder griffin known as Dosmare, a beast much hated for its appetite both for chocobos and for children. Not very scary though, it's a B rank. 
I mean, we've we've seen that. We've seen worse. Okay, oh, yeah, it just repeats. So, Care Norvin Westgate, Sandbreck. Well, shall go there. How do I a local map? Rivergate. That's a river gate, but he said Hold on Northern West Gate Sandbrick. I'm confused. Like this was Kara Norvent, Glorious Gate, and then it wouldn't be here, would it? In that circle here? I guess we'll see. Come on. Uh, Gallop. You know what this feels like? This feels like because this is here in Norvin. So the glorious gate feels like this is the eastern gate. So this would be the western gate here, which means I need to travel here and work my way towards the other location. Like, so I'm going to try to go here because I, I was thinking maybe it might be here because that's like a perfect location for a fight. But when can I go on a special? I mean, like, I might be wrong, but it feels that way. Oh, wait, that doesn't climb up. Is there, is there a path this way? Like, how do I get there? I'm going the wrong way entirely. What in the frick? You just have to go up here. Nope. 
it's underneath differently. This is super confusing. Bro, am I crazy? What's happening? I feel like I need to... Oh my god. Why is this place so confusing to navigate? That's it, right? Yeah. Jesus, man. Ready those three barrels around the front. Go on the caravan sound. Just watch it's not even gonna be there. No, of course not. That would have been too perfect. This definitely looks like a place that could have a fight here, but... but of course not. Okay. So we go all the way back. from here is it the upside wait yes There's got to be somewhere on this side. They still attack you on side, even though they're super, super weak. That is not a griffin. These are also not griffins. Rather, they are scorpions. There's still some room for it to spawn somewhere. Oh, 
What are we? If it's gonna be here or not? So I, I doubt it's going to be in this area here because that's like a dead end. A chronol a chronolith is that then nearby. What's a chronolith? I mean, it's a, it's a big slab, but like, what did he do? Because these are not active. The end of Yepetus. Like, yeah, we don't we know what these are. You can be near the water? What? hasn't bitten off more than he can chew oh so it is here i deduced correctly but there was a teleporter here are you serious i never seen it before oh come on They look exactly the same as in FF14. It's amazing. Like, precisely the same. Let's go, buddy. Let's dance. Another work will have to wait. Hold on. Look sharp. avoided my attack super rude So 
far so good. Rude. Oh wow, I got hit for the first time ever. Almost didn't get hit. Almost. Draw the entire fight, which is pretty, pretty damn impressive. Woo! Let's go, man. Scarletite. One of the hardest materials known to man. Scarletite is highly sought after, uh, after by those with the means to pay its exorbitant asking price, a price determined not by its rarity, but rather due to the fact that a forge must employ no fewer than five healthy bearers to produce a flame hot enough to melt the ore, at which time it takes upon a deep scarlet hue from which it takes its name. Damn, so we're going to be able to craft the armor because we murdered the, uh, the bird. I would assume that is. Something that boy. Could that be our man? He's gonna be mad that I killed the bird. Like, like, was the bird his friend? I hope not. Are you all right? Yeah. Dare say I'll survive. That griffin caught me before I could get an arrow off. Must have lost sight of me in the grass, though. I'd be dead if it hadn't. More likely than not. The name's Camille. I'm a lowly leather worker, if you couldn't tell by the smell of me. Not so lowly from what I hear. Do you remember selling to a merchant by the name of Karen? Uh, she's not an easy woman to forget. Bought a caress from me after I lost my buyer. Quite taken with my work, as far as I recall. Didn't stop her bartering me down to a pittance, though. <laughs> she sent you for a refund? It's not her who sent me. 